what three baits should you be using in the month of May? Before we talk about it, if you're new to the channel, please hit that like button and that subscribe and comment below that you subbed so I can at least say hello. But let's talk about those three baits you should be using right now. It is May and finally we're going to see some warming water probably everywhere through the country but there's a couple things that we're going to target this month before everything to start off there's going to be a lot of shad spawning this month there's going to be a lot of bluegill spawn in the southern states some of the baits that we're going to use we're going to try to match the hatch kind of we're going to try to use things that are good in clear water but also in dirty water this is one of the best times to catch fish because they're either post-spawn fish or they're now starting to become a little bit more aggressive and they're going to start to target fish in that upper water column as the water gets warm or starts to get warmer those these bass are going to move up find their spots and just try to ambush fish so this is when things start to finally come together and as that water starts to warm up you can use baits that have a little bit more appendages you can use baits that are moving a lot more you can use baits that have a lot more sound because sound travels better in warmer water so that's what we're going to look at this month and quite honestly this is my favorite month of fish this is year after year I catch more big fish in the month of May more or less because I know that they're going to target bluegill down here but like I said you got your shad spawns going out north and bluegill south so to start off while I don't have it out of the package we're going to talk about spinner baits just a little bit now I still like using a spinner bait that is a little bit smaller in this one I want to use the smaller the smaller willow or Colorado is going to give it a little bit of flash and the willow blades going to give it a little bit more thump I'm I'm going to try to target fish that are in that slightly upper water column I'm going to cast that rod and I'm going to not burn it in but I'm going to reel it at a pretty moderate pace one blade is going to give off vibration the other blade is going to give off flash that's what I want and I like that smaller profile because as these shad spawn or bluegill spawn, they're not giant. Bass are going to find an ambush point and try to target those fish on a point where they can be just, you know, the, the bait can go by and they can just swipe at it and have a quick meal. So knowing that and targeting those smaller profile spinner baits is going to help you catch more fish. And that stinger hook not a bad thing to have either that stinger hook really does help right now because you will get short strikes they're not going to be super aggressive as as June starts to happen bass will will literally attack a, a bait they will seek it out run it down and attack there's still a little bit of colder water up north down here we've had some a little bit of cold fronts here and there but the water isn't super warm but there's still slightly lethargic but just barely so that's my first bait i think you should be using in may so my number two bait is a bait i want to use early in the morning when there isn't a lot of wind uh, this is going to be more of a search bait for me but it's a whopper plopper or whatever you want to call it a chapo whatever i want to use a bait that's a top water bait that i can just cast and cast and cast I want it to have a little bit of a commotion that just churns the water behind it and the bass will be below it and will come up to strike it. Now it doesn't do good through weeds but in open water and clear and dirty water this is a great bait because of the noise that it makes. Uh, I want that noise this time of year. I want that, uh, I want to be able to cast it a long distance but that sound as it's coming almost like a choo-choo train almost uh is what i'm what i'm looking for now i'm not going to reel this too fast as my camera won't there you go uh, i'm not going to reel this too fast 
I'm gonna try to keep it on the almost slower side of, of reeling it in. Uh, I'm gonna make that long cast and it's gonna be just a real slow, just enough for the, that back, just to make the churning to turn. It's not a fast pace. Uh, like in June and July, where I'm gonna start throwing lizards because it's gonna be one that's coming up, I'm going to make sure that, that the only thing I want is that this tail just barely moves. That's my the key to it. One other thing about this bait is this is a great bait to use when uh, bass are guarding fry. As this comes over a bed, a bass will just come up to eat it just to get it out of its way. It thinks that it's gonna go after its fry. So if you see a, a, a bed or a, a bass guarding fry from a distance, a topwater bait is a great bait to catch that fish. I should say, I've got a whole box of those things, which is kind of crazy. I don't know why I have so many, but I've been successful on them for so long that they have their own tackle box. And third, I said it in the beginning, this is the time for bluegill and the shad spawn. Clear lakes, you're gonna, you, you can use this next bait. Dirtier water lakes, you can use this. Once you find the right cadence to fish the next lure, you're gonna find out it's one of the best lures you will ever use. It's the Buka, baby bullgill. Now they have the baby bull shad, which is this one. And the baby bullgill has, oopsie, has a little bit bigger presence in the water. I don't know if you can, it'll actually focus there. You can see that one is the bullgill and that's the shad a little bit smaller. I prefer the shad this time of year, and here's why. I still want that, again, that smaller profile. This bait you can cast, and you're just going to slowly retrieve it in, and it will stay two, three inches underwater, keep your rod tip up, and just let it swim. This bait has insane action all the way around. I'm not joking one of the best baits I've ever used in my life. Now this is a little bit more expensive, they're like 15 bucks, but you don't have to change out the hooks and they swim perfect. If you have, if you see a lot of beds of uh, bluegill beds or you see a lot of bluegill fry or that stuff, the bull shad is, is really a great size. It's really a great size. I think it's probably three inches maybe, that's three inches. Why did you get it so big? A, that's what she said. Telling everybody it's three inches. Uh, but you'll see very quickly that when once you find the cadence that they want, uh, the bait, they just, they just blow it up. The thing about that bait is I found that you can run it fast, you can run it slow, and it catches fish all the time. The hooks are sticky, uh, it doesn't break down on you, it's a hard bait and it just does work, no joke. Two years ago, I named that my best bait I'd used in 2020, and to this day, I catch more fish on that bait than any bait I use, and that's more than a stick worm, because I would use a stick worm this month too. I would wacky rig a stick worm and you're gonna catch lots of fish too, but that's the third bait I think you should be using, some sort of sw small swim bait that has good swimming action. Bass are going to key on those things right now. They're looking for that bait that just wanders off by itself and that they can attack easily without making a mess of everything. They'll sit in that weeds or whatever or a, a tree branch or a stump or whatever and as that bait goes by they will attack it. It swims, it looks realistic in the water. So my number three bait is the Mike Buka Baby Bull Shad and it is absolutely fantastic. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. Uh, I really do appreciate it. If you like this kind of content, comment below and tell me what you think. And what three baits are you using in May? I want to know. Actually, what three baits are you using in June? That's really what I want to know. Guys, remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'm doing this one late. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe to your own kids fishing. <laughs>